where are they now and how far can we move them by the end of the year. I kind of know, I get to know my students at the very beginning of the year, um, know what they can do, what they can't do, and their motivation levels too. And from there, encouraging and showing them their progress and the feedback that takes place throughout the entire year. So when they can see that they are growing and they are achieving, so when they see a one, a two, a three, and then a four, then they get excited. Oh, there's a lot of importance when it comes to communication. Every child needs to be heard. Every child needs to know that there is an adult in their life who is listening to them, whatever that may be. The breakdown of communication is what starts issues. As humans, we get frustrated and we expect the other person to know how we feel. The students are still learning and they are looking to you to model that communication. Dependability means follow through. You do the things that you say you're going to do. If you want students to be dependable, then you have to have expectations for them. So by setting high expectations, then they know what they need to do. And once they know what they need to do, then they can meet those expectations. And when they meet them, they become dependable. It's more than just physically being there. It's being mentally prepared. It's being, you know, it's, it's bringing your A game all the time. I think sometimes we don't think about how much kids can observe in us and how much they really notice. We're only as successful as the work we put in and no matter how smart we are, there's a work ethic component. I think for resilience it means not giving up when you make a mistake. That's one of my favorite sayings to remind kids is they'll say, oh I made a, I made a mistake. And it's like, well that's great, that's how you figure out what you need to fix or how you grow from there is because of the mistake especially in elementary, a lot of the times they don't know what that looks like. So I tell them the type of behaviors that I want to see them from them, no matter where we're going. I will say to them, I expect you to be kind to everyone. I expect you to be nice to everyone, to treat everyone respectfully. We are a team, that's the mantra here. And some of the things that we say throughout the year is, we move as a team, we learn as a team, we help each other as a team, and we succeed as a team. Responsibility is our way of helping kids to be proud of and own their own learning. We want students to um, own their own decisions, their own um, learning, and to be able to take some pride in that. It's actually a really big part of, of what I do, is to teach them to be independent learners and independent thinkers. I purposely set up structures and um, systems in my classroom that encourage students to have to take ownership of their responsibilities. Those things are what get us through life. 